What's up, mother workers? What is up, you guys? We are back with another video. This one, like we told y'all last time, it was gonna be our Q and A, and y'all had a lot of questions. So I haven't even looked at these questions yet. Jerry just wrote them down. So I mean, we go ahead and let's just get into the video. If you missed any of our other videos, make sure you go check them out because you know you missed a lot, <laughs> a whole lot, a lot. So um. The first question that says, what made y'all go to IVF? As opposed to IUI, I guess? Maybe? Um, probably. Um, so my answer would be, um, if you followed our channel, we looked back at it, I think it was a year ago, um, when we tried to do IUI with both of us and it did not work. I had a blocked fallopian tube and um, Jerry has fertility issues too, so with both of our fertility issues, we felt like the only way we felt like we were actually going to get pregnant was with IVF because the success rate was much higher and they monitored you a lot closer, the medications and everything like Not that. Not to mention with IUI, since she wanted to carry, with IUI, you have to, the sperm has to get through the fallopian tube to get to the egg to make an embryo. Right. With IVF, they take the egg out put it with the sperm right. and then put it into your uh uh, uh <laughs> the thing anyways long story short her tubes weren't a factor in this because people who have their tubes tied have success with IVF so with her tube issues this is why we decided to do IVF also we tried IUI and it failed for both of us last year so that yeah. wasn't an option that really wasn't an option for us our only option was IVF yeah so if you watched, we have a video. It's called We Give Up. We discussed our future plans in that video. All right. That was way, way long time yeah, ago. Yeah, it was but, a minute. Yeah. Um, since you all are pregnant, will you continue to be foster parents? If so, mm -hmm. how will you all make, make it, it work? work? Let's be clear. Yes, the goal... Um, for fostering is to adopt and it still is so we're not going to stop fostering because Shireen is pregnant um right now obviously well not obvious because not a lot of people know this but <clears throat> everything's going a lot slower um because they are our fostering company right agency agency um they said that typically when school is out they have less people reporting to Defects. Defects. Sorry. So now that people, the kids are not in school, it's nobody's really reporting except for like homeless teens. And which the reason why we're not in school is because we're in a pandemic. Yes, we're this COVID nineteen. Is, we're recording this video during COVID nineteen. Yes. So um, that's one of the main reasons, and we kind of got particular about um, the type of child that we would take in um and honestly we figured we can't we came to the discussion like every child doesn't have to end in an adoption we we want to foster because we see the impact fostering can have mm -hmm. um so even if we don't get to adopt a child even if the child is here for weeks months years and we don't get the opportunity to adopt it's okay like we we just want the child to know that they had a safe place and they were loved um by somebody other than their parents but if we happen to adopt then great yeah um so we yes we are definitely still foster parents and i mean i feel like i follow i started following a lot of families who have a lot of their own small birth children and are still fostering several other kids and they make it work i don't see it, it shouldn't make a difference uh to have her pregnant a toddler and then still being foster parents I don't see the issue. the issue. I think we can. I think it'll be perfectly fine. I mean, Definitely. the house is still set up and ready to go. All right, we good. Yeah. Um, another question. Well, the next question. Will Aiden and the new baby share the same donor? Yes. Yes. They do share the same donor. Um, and so do all of our other embryos yes. that are on ice right now. Yes. So, so yes. yes. Um. We have every intention for all of our children to share the same donor unless they are adopted. Right. Um, Which, obviously. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, what made Shireen decide to carry this baby? 
hold on wait mind y'all when we was 19 and we was just getting together this one right here i ain't never carrying no kids what you mean kids coming out of me what you talking about all right i was young and dumb <laughs> that that is true. i know why i said it because you thought it would be awkward to carry a baby that along with yo this is for the birds <laughs> Yo, like it's crazy. After you watched me go through, you was like, hmm, maybe I should do this. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Too late now. But yeah, um, I just wanted to. She is still a woman. She still, you know, has her reproductive organs, and I mean, pregnancy, labor, and delivery, all of that. It's hard, but it's a beautiful thing, and I, I can't hate on anybody who wants to do it whether you dress like her dress like me just you i don't know i mean who cares i just wanted to because i can i mean this is a good question because not a lot of dominant women want to carry children but and originally the plan was for us to retrieve her eggs and transfer them into me but i mean she she wanted to be pampered and she wanted to grow the belly and she wanted to have a baby shower about her and i understand that and she also wants children with her dna which is understandable i i it used to hurt my feelings but now i understand so. i didn't mean it like that i know <laughs> still used to hurt my feelings i know but I, I i did i did um she wants a child that looks like her one of the main it. reasons is i mean i look at aiden and y'all if y'all have seen eddie y'all know he is the most handsome child i want to say i've ever seen in my life but he looked like me and then every time people say it i'm like thanks but mm, it's kind of yeah so it just it, it hurts just, her feelings well not even that it hurts my feelings it's more like <laughs> it's more like it just i don't know like it just feels like a shot I, I think for her it's like i don't before she got pregnant obviously now it's just like i mean because this baby about to look just like her i can already tell from those sounds i just i just i really just wonder like would i ever have the opportunity to have a child look like me would i ever have the opportunity for somebody to be like oh my gosh she looks just like you or he looks just like you so um and i also wanted to have the experience for myself like i don't know it's it's weird but um it's not weird i mean like it's I don't want the only reason that I carry the shower is so I can have a child that look like me. Because that's not that's well, not no, it. you wanted to experience the yeah, whole thing. The whole I wanted, and we wanted another child, so it was like Jerry already went through it. Why not give it a try? You know, I was prepared to do it again, but now that I think about it, I don't think I would. And she watched me go through this every day, and she like, yeah. And you wanted to do this? Nah, we ain't having no more kids. I think we're adopting baby number three. <laughs> I'm telling y'all now. She's not carrying no Once more. Once this I'm, one come out, that's it. I'm still going back and forth. One day I'm like, oh, I could be pregnant again. The next day I'm like, uh-uh, nah, I'm just barely getting my body back. Like, I'm good. I, Shereen, am good. <laughs> I personally don't need to carry another child. She could carry another one or we can adopt. But our original goal was to each carry a child and then adopt. So we're we're getting, we're almost right. there. We're, we're more still, than halfway there. Yeah, we're still doing what we said we were going to do, so yeah. it's fine. We're, we're more than halfway there, so it's um, happening. Will you have a virtual baby shower? Honestly, you guys, the way it's looking, we might have to. We might have to. It sucks. I don't want to. Like, <laughs> I did all of this to get pregnant, and now you can't. And be now we hit with a pandemic. <laughs> like, what kind of mess is this? It's funny though, because this question was asked before. Uh, yeah, before we got hit with the pandemic. Yeah, but but I mean, before this, we were going to have a, a, a baby shower, and um. I mean, I didn't see the point of a virtual baby shower. Probably one of y'all was going to attend. Like, I don't expect our subscribers to buy us stuff. Like, I don't know how a virtual baby shower works on YouTube because I never really watched one. But do y'all send us the gifts or do we open the gifts we already... I don't know. Yeah, we don't know how that works. We weren't going to do that. But now that we can't, we probably... Now that we probably can't have a standard baby shower, um, we're considering maybe a virtual baby shower... Um, we're still going to send out probably our registry to people so they can buy the stuff that baby girl needs or they want to buy for her. All right. Um, but it just sucks because she can't be celebrated for carrying her child. Like, I'm missing my birthday. My birthday is April 30th. Her I graduated. graduated. Was supposed well, to be. It was supposed to be on April 24th. I'm about to miss Aiden's birthday. Yeah. Our baby shower. She Not miss his birthday, but he's not going to probably have a party anymore. Yeah. 
his party was supposed to be June 28th and then the baby shower was supposed to be July 12th. 12th. So they were like two weeks apart and if he don't have a baby shower, we're definitely not going to have a shower. We don't have a birthday, we don't have a shower. <laughs> that, yeah, that part. So yeah, we're, we're still trying to figure it out. I don't think this is going to be over by July. So we're planning otherwise. Right. So yeah, um, next question. I'm going to go to that one. I love to know the donor y'all use for Aiden because I think, because I think, sorry. I can't read that, I'm sorry. Aiden, you're in my face. <laughs> because I'd love to have a child as cute as him. All right, the donor we use for Aiden, you guys, is, stop, stop playing. I mean, <laughs> let's, okay, here's the thing. Do, you don't pick a donor so your child can look a certain way, y'all. We picked our donor based off of health reasons and blood type and that type of stuff. But not only that, um, it's kind of weird to ask. That's kind of like donor. that's kind of like saying, "Oh, can we share baby daddies? Like, can I have your baby daddy? I want my kid to look like nah." Um, We've been asked this so many times. First of all, let me just put this out: our donor is. Not making no yeah. more sperm for so me. You can't find our donor anyway. Well, they're they they sent us some because we were creating a sibling. But he's not starting. Why yeah. do you say this? Yeah. He's not available for people who don't have siblings by him already. Right. That's that's so that's out completely anyway. But we wouldn't share that. We wouldn't share that anyway. We wouldn't share that. Why is this? Oh. My butt just big. <laughs> we wouldn't share that because I just feel like it's, I don't know, I and that's just weird to me. I don't know how, I don't know how y'all can, uh-uh, I'm not sharing a donor. Sorry. I, even if I could, I wouldn't because that's just, uh, it's not in us. Sorry. So that question is, don't ask me again. <laughs> um, how did y'all get your channel to grow? Honestly, y'all, um, it was just a blessing. Um, and clearly, we, we're not where we want to be or even where we used to be yeah we're not where we used to be we're not where we want to be we're we this, know we have to post a lot this. more um we want to just keep seeing our channel grow it's and just grow and grow. so hard for us to be consistent now our lives have been so hectic yeah. um from becoming foster parents well from becoming parents uh, to becoming I'm foster parents it. to going through a ttc journey all over again like we uh, it's, it's been a lot, lot. It's been a lot. And even stuck at home during this pandemic, we still can't find the time to pick up the camera. We don't even know what to do when we pick up the camera. Like, what are we supposed to do? It's, it's, it's hard. So it I can't really, we can't really answer that question. We just... I think in the beginning, it was consistency and networking with other YouTubers and putting ourselves out there and having other people advertise us. So get your friends to help you out. Tell them to advertise you. Put yourself out there. All right. And stay consistent because we did it and look where we are. <laughs> What's next? Um, I'm gonna skip that one. So, okay, since y'all originally wanted to have a boy, why didn't you do gender selection during IVF? Um, the reason why is because we, it, I think we kind of went over that already. Um, in order to do gender selection in IVF, you have to do something called PGS testing. And PGS testing was an additional, like, two to $5,000. And they didn't recommend us testing our... Yeah, it wasn't, like, yeah. a mandatory thing. And it would have had to be a frozen transfer, <coughs> and we did fresh. So it was a lot of different yes. reasons why we didn't do that. And, I mean, honestly... It wasn't like we needed a... We, yeah. we just wanted a boy because it would have been easier to not have to buy a bunch of new stuff. Yeah. And we, like, it, we know how to raise a boy, right. clearly, but... I mean, I think uh, this girl was going to give us a little challenge that we didn't expect, but I'm perfectly fine with having. I'm we're not good. upset that we're having a girl. Yeah, it was just like, well, when we saw that we were having a girl, it was just like, boom, girl. I was like, oh, sh yo. We just knew it was going to be another boy. Right. Next question is, what's baby girl's name? Um, we're not revealing her name yet, you guys. We're so sorry. Um, we felt like we kind of jumped the gun for Aiden. Um, I feel like we... We watched some of our videos last night. I think I already said that, but we were going through like we shared a lot, and we just want to keep some stuff to us. Right. Like literally, 
right after I was sewed up, Shereen was recording a video for y'all, yeah, and I was not, like, it's, it's, completely out of it, and we just want to, like, we don't want to do all of that. I don't want to feel the pressure of sharing every single piece of information that we have. Right. We just, like, you know, we just want to keep some things between us. Right. Like, our families don't even know her name. Nope. So... I mean, we we tell y'all we might I mean we might as well tell the whole world, right? But yeah, we did just tell the whole world. so we just wanted to keep a couple little things personal after sharing our whole entire life. I hope you guys can understand that. <laughs> Please. Um. Will baby girl have her own nursery? Um. Technically, technically. Yes. Um. So her room right now is her room, and it's a foster child's room, possibly. Um. But it's still her nursery, so it depends on the age of the foster child. Our the age, age range, range gender. our age range now is like one to kind of like seven. Right. So we have the nursery, which would be for the younger kids, and then Aiden has the whole twin bed in his room along with his toddler bed. So it depends on the age of the foster child if she has her own room. But right now the nursery is split, and it'll continue to be split in case we get a foster child. All right. But she definitely has her own place to sleep and stuff. Absolutely. Like, it's for now it's her room. Absolutely. For now. <laughs> um that one. No, we how, didn't. Yes we did. Okay. Um, how is the pregnancy going with the lockdown? Um Honestly you guys, it's it's good and bad. Um, good because it's the least exposure possible, um, which I'm internally grateful for because it's terrifying. Um, you guys know how bad it is right now, and we live in Georgia, so we're a pretty high state. Um, we're not like New York or California, California or D.C., but out, like we're one of the smaller states that have been impacted badly. Badly. So um, it's very scary, um, but. And it, it sucks because I'm missing appointments. All the, she, she's missed two OB appointments at this point. Yeah. So that definitely is the part that kind of really, really sucks. But um, I the mean, good thing is that we she doesn't have to go to work, which is awesome when you're 20 weeks pregnant. You don't have to get up and go anywhere. At 5 in the morning like that. Oh, my god! Could you imagine having to go to, like, yeah. I mean, I did it, and I cried all the way to work, so. Like, I'm, I'm wake up, I'm still nauseous, you guys, so it's, and we're, we're going to do an update um, about me, but, um, thank you. Yes, because she just had her 20-week appointment, so we have some information on the pregnancy, but, yeah. Uh, as far as being stuck in the house goes, it's okay. I mean, we're safe. But it's kind of boring. We can't go nowhere. Especially. Hold on, baby. Especially when you have a baby on the way. You know, you want to go out and shop. All of that stuff. We're literally going out every couple of weeks to get groceries. And then that's it. Like, we don't go anywhere. Um, we went to an OB appointment, what, two days ago? Yeah, me and Aiden had to sit in the car and we FaceTimed her. But that's, that's it. I mean, and going outside, Aiden has really bad. Like pollen allergies that I have really bad allergies and which would lead him to an asthma attack so we can't really go outside All right um, so yeah we're kind of like it's kind of not fun at all <laughs> and binge watching only gets you so far yeah, and she, now I'm like sick of TV she's sick of TV and what do you do after you sick of TV you like just stare at each other talk <laughs> but yeah we're just we're just it's like blessed and bored at the same time. Like it's a blessing to all be together, but we bored. Very bored. Yeah. So um, yeah. Um, that was a lot. I did want to address this one last question because we didn't go really into depth because I knew it was coming up. But yeah, it said, "Will you ladies have a third baby?" And the question is to be determined. Um, because we only want the max children we want is three. So if we end up adopting before we get to another IVF, which will be a long time from now, then no, we're not having another child. We'll be adopting. But right. if we have not adopted by the time I'm 29 and I'm mentally ready to carry another child, because we don't want to carry babies after 30, um, then maybe. We don't know yet. We'll see. I mean, we don't even have her here yet to say we can right. even, ha even handle three children. So, right. I mean, if we end up with two, we're blessed. 
If we end up with three, we're blessed. If we end up with four, we're stressed. <laughs> exactly. I'm happy you knew the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, we, I mean, to answer that, we, we don't know. Um, our, our, our hopes and prayers are three. Two, we're eternally grateful. So. But it's just like we have four embryos left. We don't I think that's them. the biggest, yeah. the biggest, the hardest part is we know that we have four embryos left. And we either need it like only like zero left or like 45 left. Right. Because then it would be like, eh, we done. Let them go. But the, those last little four, like, those, are, can, those are our babies. We like, can put those four to work, you know what I'm saying? We can go. You can get two. I can get no, no, two. No, no, no. You can get two. You need to go ahead and get two more. Whoa. She I'm done. I wasn't joking. But yeah, uh, I think this age gap between baby girl and Aiden is perfect. So she'll probably be two anyway before we start thinking about All right. IVF. All right. So we, we got a long time. And by then we probably going to be like, nah, exactly. it's time to travel. We got a six-year-old and a three-year-old. We good. They, yeah. they potty train. Oh, no, yeah. we ain't starting we, over. We might not start over. So really, we keep going back and forth. Our, we, don't we don't know. Clearly, we didn't change our answer like three times in this video. We don't know. Cause we thought Aiden was gonna be it, and literally ten months after that, we were trying to conceive again. Yeah. So, but we want, we just want him to have a sibling. Like we, we are always scared that something would happen to us, and he wouldn't have, you know, a ride or die. And right. now he has a sister. So I mean, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, we're okay at right. this point. Like, well, two we'll kids see. is perfect. To be determined. TBD. We're hoping it's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of girls in the family, which is why we were kind of hoping for a boy. Yeah. yeah. But I it's mean, okay, we have one of each, and that's what really matters. But yeah. 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 Um, I think that's all the questions. If you guys have any more questions, um, either DM us um, on our Instagram at Two Mother Ruckers yes. or Juicy Fruit Twenty Two. Yes. Fruit is spelled F O R R T. Oh. oh. F R O O T <laughs> two two. Um, a lot of y'all don't know that's my Instagram. I'm trying to find something else to make it. That's she made that when I was like 18, no 19. Don't judge me. But nothing else works. I can't change it to nothing else because everything I can think of is already taken. So help me out. Help me figure out another name. Juicy fruit, ain't it? All right. <laughs> But yeah, that's it. Cause she changed hers to two mother workers, which I don't think was fair. So she took that from me, and now everybody keeps following her, and I don't have anybody following me, and nobody knows that I exist on Instagram. We'll figure it out. Okay. Well. I All right, you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe during this pandemic. Um, stay at home if stay you at can. Home. Yeah. If, if you're, you're an essential worker, thank you so much. Yes, if you are an essential worker, no matter what you are, what you do as an essential worker. Thank you. Um, cause Everybody from the cashier at Kroger, the daycare worker, the police officer, all the of y'all. The doctor. And all the of y'all. cleaning the hospitals. The teachers who still getting on Zoom with these kids. <laughs> all these faculty meetings. So y'all, just for real though, stay safe. Um, keep your loved ones in your prayers, in your mind, in your hearts. And we love you guys so much. We'll be back at y'all with another video really soon. Probably um, after this, y'all, because if we don't record it, we're never going to do it. Exactly. So, we're going to thank folks. Yeah. But, we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.